welcome back to Eagle, Eagle Kids, Kids Online, Online Service. Service. Today we want to preschool together. We want to jump, dance, and sing together. Yes, I cannot wait to preschool out loud. I want to jump as high as I can. Oh, but before we praise and worship God together, let's pray first. Close your eyes, fold your hand, let's pray together. God, thank you for your blessing today. Now we are going to praise and worship you. Please give us a heart to worship you, God. In the name of Jesus, we say, Amen! Amen. Yay. Yay! Now let's stand up and praise Jesus together. Let's go! Kids, you know what? Jesus is always in our life in every situation. So, let's sing this song together. Okay? Once again, say whoa! for his blessing every day so let's sing this song joyfully
Hello. Yes. Yay. We are fine. Let me borrow thank this. you. Thank you. Fina Dad's mine. We are fine. Yes. It's just your cousin, right? So <sighs> I can borrow this. Dad, Fina took my toys. I borrowed yes, it for yes, a yes. while. Okay. Ah, uh, Dad, Fina took my toys. Uh, please hold on for a second. Sheila, Fina, please be quiet. I'm still on the phone. What a tattler. Yes, how? Better than you. You oh, stole okay, my okay. toys. That's mm. mine. <sighs> Dad, I want to go to the beach now. Sheila, we're going to swim later, okay? Not now. Huh? How? Need to swim? Oh, okay. But I want to swim now. Okay, okay then. <gasps> Thank you. Sheila, Fina, if you see people on the, speaking on their phone, you should wait for your turn and respect him. Okay? Sorry, uncle. Sorry, dad. Okay. But why we can't swim now? It's very hot now. Not that you cannot swim. But if you swim now, you will get sunburned. Besides, don't you want to wait for your mom and brother? They're buying food for us. After that, we should eat first. And then later, we can swim. Okay? Okay, Dad. Anyway, I made an appointment with a friend today. Huh? A friend? So, we're gonna play together. Oh. Sounds fun, right? Whoa, who is that? Hmm. I know who. It's a secret. Just wait and see. Hmm. But, Sheila... Mm -hmm. I think uncle is right. If we swim now, we will get sunburned and it will hurt a lot. And I don't want it that. Mm. So, mm, what should we do now? How about we play games with kids at home? <gasps> That's such a great idea. Let's yes. play together with us. Yes. And... Okay. So, now I'm going to check in first. Okay, okay. You girls wait and play here, okay? Okay, 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 okay. okay, okay. Bye, Dad. I have an exciting game. Mm, so, what's that? we are going to play Guess the Word. I have some pictures and I will okay. show it to you. And then, you have to guess what is the word that represents <gasps> by this picture. Sounds great. Okay, okay, let's start now. Okay, let's go to the first question. Hmm. Do you know what is this? Um, it looks like a cloud, right? Or mm -hmm. it's a rain. Yes, yes, it's a rain, but what what is the word? Um the right looks like Come on, a Sheila. Bow? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Okay, I know. It's a rainbow. Yes, you got it right. Let's go to the second question. Hmm. Huh. Can you help me, Fina? Mm. Do you know what is this? The first picture. Mm. You know, you know this one, this one. is We, ha we have all of this. Um, it looks like a tit. Is it a tit? Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. And then, and then... Oh, and a brush! Anyone, it anyone knows? Be... Anyone that brass, oh. right? Yes! You are correct! Okay. How about you guys? Can you guess this picture? Mm. I think you all know this. It looks like a key. Yes. And... Mm. Do you know what is this? It's a port light. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. And then, what is this? Can you guys help me? Oh, I know, I know. It must be keyboard, right? Right! It is keyboard. And how about this? Hmm. It's only a letter C. Mm -hmm. uh, but with a hair on the right? Yes. C and hair. Uh -huh. oh, I know. It must be chair. Right! Wow, you are so smart. How about you Yay. guys at home? Can you guess this last picture? Hmm. It's a bit similar with the last one. But how about this? What is this? Hmm. The right 
picture is same with the last one. one. Yeah, right? It's so how about you find the first picture? What is this? It's a coffee, right? Or a tea? Oh, no, no. It's a cup, right? Uh-huh, uh-huh. It must be a cupboard. Yes! Yes! Yay! You guys are so cool. The game was so much fun. I like playing with friends at home. Yes, you're right. I always excited to play with you all. Yeah. Ina, Sheila. Hi, Dad. Our Uncle. rooms are ready. Let's oh. put our luggage and then let's eat. Okay. Okay, okay Dad. Okay, let's, let's go. go. Woohoo! I can wait to see. Come on, oh. oh 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 oh. Sheila, are you okay? I'm very sorry, sir. Sheila, say sorry to this kind sir. I'm sorry, sir. Okay. Sheila, you should not run in public place. People will get hurt. Thank God in this event, no one get hurts. I'm sorry, Dad. Okay? Now can we please continue to the beach by walking? Oh, okay, 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 okay Dad. Okay, okay, let's go. Let's go. Kids, you know that Jesus is the best. So we want to do like Jesus, we want to think like Jesus, and we want to be like Him. So let's sing this song together with us.
your words today. So let's prepare our heart, God. Let's prepare our ear to hear your voice today. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Hi, Eagle Kids! It was such a lovely day today. You know, Eagle Kids, God has been so, so good to me. Not only today, but you know, every time I got the chance to meet you guys in the church, I can say hi. I can say hi to John, hi to Bella, hi to Cynthia, hi to Eagle Kids. It makes me very, very excited. It makes me full of joy. And not only in church, but during my working days, at my home, in my family, in all the relationship I'm entrusted to, I can feel God's love. He has been so, so good. And I hope Eagle Kids felt the, sa- the same way as I do. Okay, Eagle Kids, I'm so excited to share God's word with you today. Who's excited? Raise your hands up high. Yeah, okay, before we start, let us pray. Close your eyes, fold your hands, and let us pray. Dear Lord Jesus, once again, thank you so much for this wonderful day. Thank you for gathering us here today. And we're so excited to hear your words. Help us, Holy Spirit, to stay focused, to open up our hearts, open up our ears, so that whatever words you want to speak to us, we can understand it well. In Jesus' mighty name, everybody who is ready, come and say, Amen! Amen! Eagle kids, do you know that Jesus is the light of this world? Do you know that? Now, prepare your Bible. Come and open with me in... I have prepared my Bible. Open up with me in John chapter 8 verse 12. John chapter 8 verse 12. Where is John? (laughs) John is in New Testament, okay? Okay, 8 verse 12. Okay, I found it. Have you? All right, let's read it out together. In the count of three, one, two, three. When Jesus spoke again to the people, he said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Oh, wow. Jesus is the light of the world. Imagine this thing, kids. You are standing between two rooms. The left one is dark. You cannot see anything. Once you step in those rooms, all you see is nothing. Darkness. It's a blank space. You feel cold and somewhat your sound is echoing, echoing, echoing because there's nothing there. You cannot see anything or you cannot enjoy the surroundings. But once you step on the right side of the room, you can see see the lights hanging in the ceilings and then at the left corner you can see a beautiful pot of plant with coffee table beside it and on the right side you can see um, a beautiful gift wrapped up ready to be distributed and then in the center you can see a camping area for you to play with your friends wow once you enter that room full of lights you become cheerful you become oh okay i want to celebrate today i want to invite all of my friends to this room this room is so beautiful it has so many lights see you're so excited when that room has lights in it now eagle kids the thing is jesus is the light of this world and who are we we are his children right it means that we are called to be the light of this world as well who amongst you believe in jesus everyone raise your hands yes that's 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 true that's good if we believe in jesus then we can invite him to come into our hearts into my heart into my heart come into my heart lord jesus come in today come in to stay come 
come into my heart, Lord Jesus. We have invited Jesus to stay in our hearts. And if Jesus is the light, it means that His light will pass through, will go through our life. Our life will shine because Jesus is inside us. But... We need a little effort to make that light shine. For example, I have brought this lamp with me. When I have this lamp with me, it's just a normal lamp. It cannot function unless I press the button on. Where is the button? <laughs> this one. Tada! There's light in it. Tada! <laughs> now, if I press the button on here, then the light will on. But if I do nothing, then it's just the normal lamp, cannot be functional. Same with our life. When Jesus is inside us, His light will shine through our life. That's true. But we need a little effort. We need to press that power button so that that light will shine and we as His children can be the light of this world as well. In today's sermon, I am going to share to you how to be the light to everyone by having a good behavior. Starting from the first point, ready to jot it down? First one, control yourself. Eagle Kids, let me play some little game, a little game with you. Can you show me an expression of you being happy? I see a big, big smile on your face, a grinning on your on your face. Okay, that's nice, Eagle Kids. How about mm, an expression of you wanting to have something? Oh wow, some of you might have big eye and then you started to having this puppy eye and then like please can i have your food can i can i have can i have your toy can you share with me please something like that right how about you feeling angry okay some of you might show me your rude face or that face uh like feel like not talking or how about feeling of disgusted ew something like that right <laughs> good job eagle kids now we as human can feel all sorts of emotions that's normal and that's okay because we are human right we can feel angry sometimes because our friends just uh, steal our toys maybe or just hit us or we just argue with our friends we feel angry or on another day we can feel sad because our pet our dog just passed away just died or we can also feel happy on another day because we're going for a long trip on a holiday after so many time being at home we can feel all those emotions and that is good However, it becomes bad, becomes not good if we cannot control it. If there's too much emotion and then it becomes uncontrolled. Huh? How can it be, miss? Okay, imagine this. Have you ever uh, drink or eat? Eat, uh, eat a soup or drink a soup <laughs> Drink a soup And it tastes so delicious It is warm It has chicken in it It has carrot It smells good And once you slurp it wow, It tastes so so good But then one day Your mommy cooked that soup But then she put too many salts in it How do you feel? cannot enjoy the soup anymore because all you can feel is very salty mommy i cannot i cannot taste anything except salt in it it becomes awful right or another example a cake i like cake a cake is very delicious when the baker knows how to bake with the right amount of sugar, with the right amount of salt, with the right amount of everything, mix, 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 it becomes a delicious cake. But what if the baker puts too much sugar in it? Then this cake, aside from me being sugar rush, <laughs> this cake becomes unhealthy. 
it, it, it can cause diabetes or some sort of unhealthy lifestyle because I'm eating too much sugar. Now, same goes with your emotion. For example, if you're getting too excited to the point that you caught other people's conversation, hmm, what will it do? What will it be? When people talking together, no one is listening, it becomes disrespectful. You cannot hear what other people is trying to say and other people cannot hear what you are trying to say. Or another time when your mommy promised you, Okay, Celine, let's go to the mall today. But then I get too excited to the point that I keep on saying to my mom, Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go 1000 times. But at that time, my mommy is still finishing her, her task. And I started to annoy her. It's not good, right, Eagle Kiss? Or the other time, maybe when you are too excited to go to supermarket, you put all the things you want in that shopping chart, and then you started to, you want to open that, but before that, you have to pay first. And then once you once you go to the cashier, you just cut the line. <laughs> That's impolite. That's not a good behavior. So instead of being too excited until things are uncontrolled better stay stay positive stay stay calm and then oh okay mommy needs to do his job first and then i can go to the mall i need to wait i need to be patient okay i need to wait for my friends to finish her story and then i can talk okay i need to queue in the line so that i can pay for the food i am buying uh, in the shopping chart Miss, okay, if getting too excited, maybe I can still control it because it's kind of easy. But what if I am being angry? Oh, yeah, I go, kids. When you are angry, things are twice, thrice harder to control. But let me give you some tips. When you are being angry, your alarm in your mind must be on. And then you start to take a deep breath. And exhale. Okay, calm down and start to pray to God in your heart. God, I'm so angry right now, but please help me to control it. Remember, the fruit of the Holy Spirit, one of them is self-control. It means that if you have Holy Spirit in you, Holy Spirit will help you. Holy Spirit will, yeah, will help you to control your emotion. So, um, maybe last time when you're angry, you started to throw things around and destroy every toys you have in your house. But because you know that Holy Spirit is in you, you can calm down, you can have self-control. Mommy or daddy uh, shouldn't waste their money to buy you another toys. Or maybe the last time, you don't know about this yet. Maybe when you're angry, you started to say bad things to everyone around you. And then... You hurt their feelings, but right now, because you can control yourself, now you started to um, speak nicely, you talk what's in your mind, what makes you angry, and everything is sorted out. Something like that, Eagle Kids. So I'm telling you right now, come on, let's try, let's learn, let's um, let's be control let's let's have control let let's have self control let's be able to control our emotion that's the first point now the second point the second point okay write this down the second point is following the instruction following the instruction aside from controlling our emotion it's also important to have follow the instruction it's one of the good behaviors like us children even me as a young adult <laughs> i tend to break the rules right but you know what this bible story this biblical character received goodness because he followed instruction are you curious about him let's hear the story this Bible story is taken from 2 Kings chapter 5, verse 1 to 27. Naaman healed of leprosy. Naaman, the commander of the army of the king of Aram, is a man that is highly regarded and cared for by his master. Because through him, God has given victory to Aram. 
However, Naaman then got leprosy and none of the doctors back then could heal him. Naaman has a female servant that works for his wife. The servant said to Naaman's wife, If only my master would see the prophet who is in Samaria, he would cure him of his leprosy. Then Naaman went to the prophet that his servant said could heal him. Afterwards, Naaman arrived and his horse was in front of Elisha. The knock on the door, Elisha asked one of his messengers to go out and say, Go, wash yourself seven times in the Jordan, and your flesh will be restored and you will be cleansed. But Naaman went away angry and said, I thought that he would surely come out to me and stand and call on the name of the Lord his God, wave his hand over the spot and cure me of my leprosy. Are not Abana and Farpar, the rivers of Damascus, better than all the waters of Israel? Couldn't I wash in them and be cleansed? So he turned and went off in a rage. When Naaman followed what Elisha ordered him to do, which was to wash seven times in Jordan, he was healed of leprosy. And Naaman knew that it was God who healed him. Naaman then went home to his family and friends. He shared with them that God had healed him. Wow, I've just heard the story of Naaman healed from leprosy. At first, Naaman got annoyed. Huh, I need to dip myself in the water? He got annoyed, but then he's able to calm himself down, control his emotion, and follow the instruction. And look, when he follows the instruction, he is healed. He's healed. No more leprosy. Now, eagle kids, let me tell you, following instruction is not always easy. Sometimes, during our school maybe, we might want to run, 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 run around the school without having to realize that there are actually stairs in front of you. Our teachers already, already told us, hey, do not run around because you might hurt yourself, you might fall. Or maybe when we go on a trip with our parents, we get too excited and then we run across the road. It can be so dangerous, right? How about when there's a car? You might, you might get into an accident. Or maybe in the public area, in the supermarket, your mommy and daddy say, hey, Dave, don't run. You might ruin other people's thing. You might, you might crash into Auntie Lina's flower vest. Flower vest. <laughs> and then, tada, you run and then you bump into her vase and then it's broken and then your parents need to buy a new one. So following instruction is somewhat difficult but it's doable guys it's doable so starting from today the kids if you heard some advices from your parents if you heard if you read rules in the public area or your teacher is telling you or your connect group leader is telling you try to follow those instruction can we do that yes we can do that we are his children right we want to be the last of this world by having good behavior okay everybody thumbs up Let, uh, let's say it out loud with me I want to have a good behavior okay in the count of three I want to have a good behavior okay let's modify some movement okay like this I want to have a good behavior can you do that Okay, let's do it together. One, two, three. I want to have a good behavior. Yay, good job, Eagle Kids. I am so proud of you. Before we wrap things up, let us close with a simple prayer. Okay, close your eyes, put your hands. Let us pray together. 
Wow, dear Lord Jesus, thank you so much for telling us that we are your children and that we can be the light of this world. Lord, help us, Lord, to have a good behavior wherever we are, in our school, in our family, or when we are among other people. Please help us, Lord, to have good behavior. Lord, we want to be more and more like you we want to be uh, we want to please you lord we want to make you happy so help us lord help us lord we need you holy spirit in jesus mighty name amen eagle kids raise both of your hands up high as i'm going to pray for you Lord Father, I bless them with your greatest blessing. I bless them in whatever they're doing, you will make them successful. Bless their family, bless their health, uh, so that so that their family can be all well and also their parents can stay fruitful. In Jesus' mighty name, Holy Spirit will also be with them in their household every single days of their life thank you so much lord jesus we love you so much in jesus mighty name come and say amen amen god bless you eagle kids see you next time bye bye hello everyone Today, we will make a camera, sliding camera. First, prepare everything that you see on the table. Okay, now, take a piece of paper, 12 by 8 cm in length, and draw the details of the camera using a marker. It's quite easy. You can use a ruler to draw the squares and lines straight. Now draw one square on one side of the paper and draw a rectangle on the other side, just like this. And then make a straight line using a ruler. Then draw another line under the other line. Okay, now we will draw the middle details. First, draw two small circles. You can put it here. And then draw two diagonal lines next to the circles. And then draw a straight line on top of it. Great. Okay, you can use a ruler to make it straight. Alright, now we will cut a circle in the middle. First, take a circle compass or a circular object and draw a circle. Draw the circle with a diameter of 5 cm. Alright, then you can make a hole in the middle of the circle. Okay. You can cut the circle. Please ask your parents for helping you. Make a, cur make a cross first. And then start to cut it out. When you're done, just like this, put double tape on the paper. But be careful, you can use the double tape only on the top and bottom. And stick it to a bigger paper. A piece of paper in 13 cm by 8 cm and stick the paper with the hole to the bigger paper. Alright. Now Take another paper 5 by 15 cm and draw or write something on the paper. It can be anything, but this time, hmm, I'm using words.
you can write anything and when you are done slide the paper in the opening to make it a camera Woohoo! Okay, we are done with our camera. See you, kids. God bless you. Yay! Finally, we are at the beach. I want to learn to control myself, and I don't want to interrupt people while they are talking. I also want to learn to follow the instruction well. It means I should not run in the public places. Mm -hmm. I will, I will have good behavior. behavior. One more time. I, I will have good behavior. behavior. Wait, Uncle, who are we going to play with in here? <laughs> you still don't know? I know the answer. Are you curious? We will have so much fun playing together with this friend. So kids, don't miss out next week on Eagle Kids. English service. See you. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.